G'day everyone, welcome to The Verdict. Joel Bowden is here from the Match Review panel. Welcome, Joel. Thanks, Matt. All right, let's begin with Hayden Ballantyne from the Fremantle Dockers. You've charged him with rough conduct, but decided to send him straight to the tribunal. Why? Well, under the new area in the guidelines this year, when you bump um, and make head contact, then there is a liability within your actions. So we've graded this as rough conduct, but due to uh, Hayden's bad record and some carryover points, we felt it was probably the right thing to do to send this to the tribunal and they can have a look at it, deliberate, Hayden can put his case forward and then hopefully we'll get a bit more of a steer from the tribunal on this one. You haven't actually graded it, but just doing a rough calculation, you would have been looking at at least three weeks taking his record into account. Do you think that that's too high a penalty for this particular charge? What, what we've done as the Matchbury panel is said that the number of points that this was um, calculated at, we didn't think that that was probably an accurate um, estimation of what the action was. So we want to send it to the tribunal and they'll be able to go through all the facts and come up with a, with a decision that we think probably reflects it a little bit better. Yeah, and it's important to note that the tribunal has the power to do that, to, to reach its own conclusion. So it'll be fascinating to see how that all unfolds tonight. OK, now to Richmond's Tyrone Vickery. He's accepted two weeks on the sidelines for striking Michael Ferrito. This was assessed intentional, medium impact and high contact. But he's also been booked for misconduct as opposed to wrestling. That's an $1,800 fine. All of this happening in the one incident. So let's roll the tape and we'll see if we can point this out for you. This is all clear, this bit. It's what happens next. Yeah, it is. They get into a wrestle just before the bounce of the ball and then um, Tyrone, there's we the see strike. a strike there. But there's also a wrestle... Um, we really don't like this as a match review panel at all when someone puts someone into a, a headlock or a choker. And so we've uh, subsequently given Tyrone an $1,800 um, fine, but cited him for the uh, left to Frito's head there in the, within the same contest. And Frito came up with a split eye um, and a cut underneath his underneath his eye, so yep. that was evidence for us enough, but we also did do an investigation to make sure because the vision wasn't as conclusive. Yeah, I was going to say, there's been some confusion, I think, about the, the details of that incident, but you actually see the strike happen very close to the headlock. Yeah, we did, and look, we did do an investigation to make sure, um, took it all into account. Yep, all right. Still at the Tigers, Matt Thomas has been booked for rough conduct against Brent Harvey. This is a one-match ban. Cannot be reduced because of his record. Negligent, low impact and high contact. And normally would be a reprimand. Uh, we see Thomas uh, bump Harvey, gets him high, clearly high, and so easy for us to grade this one. Um, but unfortunately for Matt Thomas, his poor record means that he can't take this down to a reprimand and, and he'll miss a week. Yep, I think that one's uh, pretty clear-cut at the end of the day. Now, also out of that game, North's Scott Thompson was pinged for striking Jack Revolt. Negligent, low impact, high contact, and he's taken a reprimand for this. Yeah, he's accepted the reprimand, um, but w we felt as the match review panel, coming back to a marking contest with your eyes off the ball and swinging like that is not an action we want to see, and especially if you collect someone in the head, um, we, we didn't look favourably upon that at all. All right, now to Essendon's David Myers. He's accepted a reprimand for striking Devon Smith. Now, this didn't look good. Uh, let's roll the tape. Negligent, low and high. He's accepted a reprimand. And I can understand why people initially thought this was probably worse than it is. Uh, in, in a closer examination of the footage, we see that when Myers does push out, he bounces off Smith's shoulder and then collects him in the air. However, as a match review panel, we felt that given it was a stoppage... Um, there was a free kick and the advantage wasn't paid. You can't go doing something like that. You need to understand that throwing your elbow out um, can be dangerous and you ne need to show a duty of care to your fellow players. Jared, he's lucky with the reprimand at the end of the day? Look, it did bounce off his shoulder. Um, you know, if, the, if we go into it you know, into detail, that you may say there's a bit of luck. It might be that the guy wasn't tall enough. We just took it what it was and uh, gave him a level one. All right, now to St Kilda's Tom Simpkin. He has received a reprimand for striking Port Adelaide's Aaron Young. Negligent, low impact and body contact. And Simpkin is in the contest somewhat, whereas Young shows great courage coming back. Um, and as he comes down from the mark, Simpkin throws an elbow out and collects him quite forcefully. Positive medical on this. Um, Young has bruising and so we've graded it a level one, low body. Um, you, again, duty of care needs to be shown to your fellow players. All right, let's finish with Lance Franklin. Under scrutiny again, but in the clear over his hit on Clay Cameron. Yeah, and look, 
Cameron gets rid of the ball and is bumped over by Lance Franklin. Um, fortunately, in this case, Clay Cameron, uh, although receiving a fairly solid bump, uh, gets straight up and continues playing. He uh, runs off and just continues within the game, which is why we deem this to be below the level of force required to constitute a report. OK, if it's all right with you, Joel, I know you weren't on the MRP last year, but we want to just compare this to a case also involving Franklin at the end of last season. He copped 225 points for this, reduced to a one-week ban with an early plea on Malcheski here, obviously in Hawthorne colours. Tell us, what's the difference? Well, the, the slight difference in this is the medical, that Malcheski is treated and assessed um, for the bump and that there was a positive medical for Malcheski. Cameron, after the bump, gets up and continues playing, runs off and continues in the game. And they're the nuances within the system that we work with. As you know, we take the medical into account for all of our cases, and that's the slight difference in this case. Do you get upset when you see on social media and here on Talk Back Radio the, the, the claims that Sydney Swans players are protected species? No, Matt, and I steer well clear of the social media with this match review panel. It is controversial at times, but we just try and deal with it in isolation and try not to be distracted by the social media. All right, Joel, thanks so much. Thank you, appreciate your time. Joel Bowden with us from the MRP. That is the verdict for this week. Stay with afl.com.au for the very latest footy news all week long.